Okay, today we're gonna cut an access port, a clean out hatch in, in this water tank that we made out of stainless. So the first thing I did, I just took the gasket and I made a mark here on the ID where I'm gonna cut. And I also traced the outside of the gasket so I could take the lid and put the lid on and then mark the hole pattern. So we'll cut the holes later. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the plaz and I'm gonna plaz out the inner circle right here. Just hand cut that guy out and we'll clean it up with a little, um, little round rotary file and a die grinder. So I'm just gonna take a rough, rough mark the holes, transfer them over from the gasket. Dull, so we're gonna go over to the grinder and hand sharpen it. The little edge, this cutting face right here, this little edge right here, you can see it where it's dull. So I'm just gonna sharpen it up a little bit. You want to keep this whole face smooth, and you want to have it lower than the front part right here. So. Keep it on the grinder the same angle there's a tool for this that shows you the correct angle and it's I, it's right over in the drawer but I, i'm not i just usually i just go real fast i just run over here and just sharpen the goddamn thing but uh there is a gauge to tell you the correct angle but i use the angle as a guide and then i use this angle that's already there as a guide and i just I just make this edge hella sharp right there and then I make sure it just has a bit of a down angle and a little roll to it and then it, it works pretty good so and then I, I switch sides I do both sides I only go a little bit each side so I don't lose the center. We got the edge. We got the edge right there where we want it. Now we just gotta bring it all the way across to the point. You can see there's a, a still just a little bit dull right by the point. And this side's pretty good, but it's not, it's not a smooth transition just yet. So we'll smooth it out. And I got a little cup of water right here. I'm just dipping it in water to keep it cool. We'll try that. That should do it. We'll give it a shot. Okay, we'll give that a shot and sometimes sometimes I come back and I'll start to drill and I'll have one side cutting real good one side of the bit cutting real good and the other side is dull and I just go run back and forth till I get it just right only with these cheap cheap bits if I had a expensive bit a little more expensive bit then I'd go get the gauge and take my time oh, let's see what happens a little juice put such a sharp edge on it that it's going to wear out quicker so
Okay, so now we got all our holes drilled out. I'm gonna clean it up again. I'm, I'm gonna take, I'll probably take a sander and, to, and tune it up, fine tune it, wipe everything down, and then we'll go ahead and put the, put the inspection cover together. It has rubber gasket on the bottom and rubber gasket on the top. So you put the bottom pieces through with the studs and then you use the top rubber gasket to hold those pieces in. Then you put the lid, the cover on, and then the uh, flat washer, lock washer, nut, tighten it down. And then we got one, one seam to weld right here. So we're gonna TIG, TIG weld this seam. Just putting this gasket on both halves of the bottom piece that goes inside the tank. So that's the prep. Put this guy, put these two half circles together. Okay, we're gonna make some little tabs. These little tabs are gonna go lifting tabs for the size of this tank right here. I'm just gonna make four two inch tabs. One down, three to go. Four, two inch, there.
Okay, going to knock the uh, corners off of these bad boys just because. Just because they're going to look cool. It will look nice. I just zap the zap the corners off with the cutoff wheel and now I'm gonna hit them on the belt sander, tune them up, and then we'll weld them on. Alright, that was our goal for today to get the axis panel in, the, the clean out, the, the cover, and to make these lifting eyes, lifting tabs, and get those welded on and to weld that seam. So that was our goal for today. We got there. We're waiting on materials for the flatbed and then we'll get back on the flatbed. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. I got more content coming out, more videos shooting every day. And uh, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.